Good day everybody and welcome back to another Ross Reviews where today we are in something really quite unique. This is a 1995 Ford XG panel van but this is the SVO and there is not a lot of information on the web about these things and I'm really going to be relying on you guys in the comment section today because uh, yeah this thing is unique, it's old, it's funky and uh, SVO is quite cool. Now the XG was launched from 1993 up until 1996 and this was the utility range guys. So these were only available in a panel van like this or a ute. Uh, and they were sold alongside the EV, the ED and the EF. So yeah, is not a lot of these things still kicking around and to see one like this and it is in really nice condition considering it's almost 30 years old. Uh, yeah, it's rare. Now I have previously done an XG S-Pack Ute and uh, that was the five speed manual. This one is in the column shift auto. And if you haven't seen that video guys, you should check it out. I'll leave a link for it and click the pop-up banner right here. That thing was pretty awesome. And I would love to have seen that Ute, especially in a manual in the SVO because this thing with the two tone colors, you know, the white with the gray on the bottom, the different wheels, you know, this did get unique suspension as well. So I do think it was a little bit sportier. This, the wheels were different. Obviously the aesthetics of it with the color and the two tone got a different wheel here. So it actually says SVO in the middle, SVO floor mats, SVO gauge cluster. Look, it is all kind of cosmetic stuff. And I do not think we actually got anything tampered with the engine here, but again, seeing this thing drive down the road, it really does look rather unique. Now under the bonnet of this thing, right, we still got the Intec, the four liter straight six, and this is the pre-AU one. So it isn't what's in the AU and it does make a little bit less horsepower here. So I believe it's something like just under 200 horsepower, around 140-ish kilowatts. Again, automatic column shifter here, but a lot of these things, being a tradesman ute, would have been in the auto, had the three bench seats here, because if you did get the manual, I believe you lost the middle seat. And uh, yeah, it's cool to see the bench seat in here. Again, the sticker and drive, <laughs> she's not exactly quick, but you know, it's got character in here. The thing is old school, like it's nearly a 30 year old car here. It's cool to see. Now let's just get the SVO thing out of the way because SVO from my knowledge was an early attempt at kind of a performance edition variant type thing here. You know, we had Tickford and then we had FPV uh, and I think SVO was just predating all of that and uh, kind of the first attempt at Ford Australia here making something sporty. Guys, I don't have a lot of information about SVO. I'm going to rely on you in the comments to really give us some key points here because unfortunately there just is not much about these vehicles. And interesting enough, I really do like these wheels and they almost resemble to me sort of those old school AMG wheels. I believe it was the hammer or something like that. I'll show you a picture of what I'm talking about. And uh, it definitely gives this SVO panel van a pretty mean look. And just, you know, again on cornering and stuff, the steering, there's some vagueness, of course. Uh, you know, again, with the better suspension in this, it is actually reasonably flat for a panel van. You know, there's a bit of body roll in it, but considering the age of this thing, it's not half bad. Now, from what I do know about SVO, it stands for Special Vehicle Operations. And basically, it was kind of launched in the late 80s, first with the EL, and they made like just a handful of them, I believe, and just basically wanted to showcase what they could do with some performance parts on a Ford. And, uh, you know, I would love to see one of those things. A 
And just out on this backcountry Victoria Road here, guys, you know, we're in Melbourne and uh, just cruising on a country road. You can hear the noises, you can hear the wind, you know. <laughs> it's, it's not the most refined ride, but again, guys, it's a 30-year-old car. It's all charm, it's all character. And uh, it'll still do, you know, nearly 100 Ks here at 1,500 revs. So, you know, that old Intex is trusty. And uh, 235 Ks on, she's still going strong. And we gotta do a shameless plug here, guys, for the owner because his family actually owns the Igloo Roadhouse here in Victoria and uh, it's famous for the Buxton Burger. And, you know, again, just being out in a vehicle like this, out in the country, on a nice country road here in Victoria, you can just get the vibe, you know, stopping at a roadhouse, hitting the open road, you know, you got just tons of space in the back of this thing. If you wanted to go to the beach, you go camping, chuck a surfboard in the back of this thing. It really is actually quite practical. Now, if you guys are enjoying this type of content, again, please make sure you are hitting that big red subscribe button and click the bell notifications because it allows me to come over here across Australia, find new cars to review, weird, unique, cool Aussie cars, especially like this one. And uh, it really does help me out, guys. So hit the subscribe button and let's get back into this SVO. I feel like up here there are some straightaways. I just have to pull over and wait for no one to be behind us. That's a good joke. That's a, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> we can use that. Yeah, yeah, that. <laughs> now, zero to 100 people. We're just stopping here. Uh, we're going to reset the draggy, and here we go. Foot's flat to the floor. <laughs> Come on, SVO. Let's go. <laughs> And 100. Woo, we made it there eventually. <laughs> the old Intech guys, look, she ain't a rocket ship, but let's have a look at the time. Now, 0 to 100, guys, was done in 13 seconds exactly. And as you can see, you know, it just, <laughs> it doesn't go very quickly off the line. And look, you know, you probably could play with rowing the gears, you know, first, second, third, by manually, but we're not going to go there today. And uh, it's probably what I expected this thing would do. But again, it's a 30 year old car. It's got less than 200 horsepower. It is what it is. Again, guys, in the comment section, I literally have zero idea on production numbers of this SVO in the ute or the panel van so i do believe you could have got this thing in a v8 svo in the ute i think we've seen one previously for sale hunting the web but apart from that like production numbers of this i can't imagine it would be very many but again leave it in the comments if you have any idea because i am pretty lost on this particular one it's rare now i'm gonna finish the video off here today guys so look a huge huge thank you to the owner and again the Igloo Roadhouse, man, because this SVO, this panel van, I've never seen one. I probably won't see another one ever again. And it really is quite rare. So again, guys, if any of you gurus on YouTube here know a lot about this, leave comments down below, help inform everybody because there really just is not a lot of information on these things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, consider subscribing if you're new here, and we will see you on that next video.